After countless failed tries at getting sober, Jared found himself at West Virginia University at the Rockefeller Neuroscience Institute, considering a radical experimental treatment. Today to the first of its kind clinical trial that's underway right now to help patients suffering from opioid addiction. Doctors are essentially using pacemakers in the brain to try to curb addiction. Has it changed you? So it has. In every aspect of my life, it has changed me for the better. I became a much better son, you know, brother, uncle, uh, friend. There's no data. I mean, you, you were the first. What got me through it was when I did my research on Dr. Rezai. The reason we're at Morgantown in West Virginia is that I believe we have a unique team here and many have come here over the past few years from across the world to make an impact. We were looking at tackling some of the big public health challenges facing us, addictions, Alzheimer's. At age 61, Judy Pollack is now five years into her new normal after a bleak diagnosis. She has Alzheimer's disease. A team of scientists, engineers, and practitioners deployed a novel device to take aim at a big barrier to progress in the fight against Alzheimer's, the blood-brain barrier. Many animal studies are showing that by opening it up, the plaques in the brain that are associated with Alzheimer's are cleared. It is a first, and it worked. It might lead to a memorable impact on a dreadful disease on evolution and technology that's happened in terms of allowing you to use a wireless ultrasounds to treat tremors or Parkinson's. Before the procedure has got shaking in the right hand, after the ultrasound, the tremor stops. Yay! Converging right there. 95% improvement. You can really accelerate innovation, all with collaboration of different teams coming together with a common shared purpose.